Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a beauty haul or just things that I've been picking up over the past, I'd say about three months. So it might seem like a lot of stuff, but it's been a while, it's been a while. So I'm gonna jump straight on into it with one of my, one of my most recent purchases. And this is a cruelty-free and vegan hair care brand. It's called Naughty. And I don't know if it's a completely new brand or if it's just started being stocked at Superdrug, but it's 97% natural, it's cruelty free, it's vegan like I say, and it's also free of silicon, sulfates, parabens and petrochemicals, is that right? Yes, it says it on the front. I think they do have gluten free options, so maybe check uh, on their FAQs if that's something that you need. These are, okay I don't want to jinx it because I've only used them once, this is their To The Rescue shampoo and conditioner. They were 6 99 each, not cheap as chips for a shampoo and conditioner, but I've been using the Mai or Maui moisture range for a while and I don't know if my hair just kind of got used to it but it wasn't really doing that much. My hair does need a trim anyway so it's, it's quite dry at the ends just because it hasn't been cut in quite a while. But as soon as I used these, and I've only used them once, but as soon as I used these my hair looked so much better, it felt so soft, because they are more natural, they don't have as much of a, a lather, but I mean ever since I was about 13 or 14 I've been doing lather, rinse and repeat, so basically what that means is you shampoo twice. So the first shampoo gets rid of the surface level dirt, and then the second shampoo really really cleans it. It's like doing a double cleanse on your face, but for your hair, and if you haven't tried that I highly recommend doing so, I've done it for years, and it, it means that when you put the conditioner on, especially if your shampoo is silicone free as well, the nourishing ingredients from the conditioner can really reach the hair. My hair has got more greasy more easily from using these, but I think that's because they are more of a natural formula and they've got, you know, hydrating oils in them. In fact, the third ingredient in the conditioner is coconut oil, so that might be why. But yeah, that's that. I'm excited to get more use out of these and report back. A nail varnish I picked up recently, I'm doing this in a very random order, but a nail varnish I picked up recently, and this is by Pacifica, it's a really pretty bubblegum pink. I've got it on at the moment, if you can see. I just did one coat really quickly. And I've never tried Pacifica nail polish before. And I also wanted to get something else from Pacifica, but it's quite it's actually quite an expensive brand. I know they're cruelty-free and vegan and a lovely brand to support, but I didn't realise quite how expensive they were. Um, but this is the shade number 11, Pink Moon, which I think is a Nick Drake album, is it not? Mm, correct me if I'm wrong. This is lovely. I really like the formula. It's a 7 free formula. I love Pacifica as a brand, everything I've tried from them has been amazing. I really wanted to get one of their solid perfumes, or their spray perfumes, but like I say, quite expensive. I have tried their French Lilac solid perfume and it's really, really nice. If you want a perfume that doesn't have alcohol in it, like say you're sensitive to alcohol, or you're wary of alcohol drying your skin out as you apply it to your neck or your pulse points, maybe try a solid perfume because I looked at the ingredients list and couldn't see any alcohol on it. So that was something I was interested in, but yeah didn't want to spend too much money but really happy I picked this up it's lovely and I like it a lot I think it's gonna look really pretty now spring and summer's rolling around and also I'm a big fan of pink on red and they're not really supposed to go but I'm, I like it I like it a lot this jumper is new by the way my nan knitted it not for me she actually knitted it for my brother but I kind of swept in there and said I like that a lot <laughs> I mean it's too big for me I could wear it as a dress but yeah I like it She's a very talented woman, is she not? A new makeup product in my life is this, and this is the Era Perez Oat Milk Foundation, which is actually a new product. I've got the shade Honey. I still need to do a first impressions on this, but I've been waiting for another product to arrive, which did arrive earlier, which I'll show you in a minute, before I could do like a kind of a full face, not an entirely full face, but you know. Um, and this was actually sent to me forgot to say that but this was sent to me for a blog review. I'm excited to test it out and let you know because obviously it's not a cheap brand but they're a really lovely cruelty free and natural brand and I like that they're female owned and I think it's because uh, Cruelty Free Vanity talks about this brand a lot or I've seen her talk about this brand before and she seems to know her stuff when it comes to vegan and natural makeup and she sings their praises quite a lot so yeah I'm really excited to try this. If you've tried anything from the brand please let me know because uh, I'm tempted by their setting powder and their eyeshadow palettes look really nice. Like I do like, they look a little bit sheer, but I quite like a sheer eyeshadow. Yeah, stay tuned for that video. Once that video is live, I will link it somewhere. Um, but they also sent me their multi-purpose vegan brush, which I've been using with this and some with some other products as well, because it is a multi-purpose brush. And 
it's nice it's good for travel it's very soft and good for travel because it's nice and diddy so that's that another skincare product i picked up yesterday is this and this is i got this from whole foods and it's the mugu oil cleansing method and it's basically a cleansing oil so if you've seen me talk about skincare before you may know what well, you may not know you may have forgotten i mean you may have a lot of things to concentrate in life and you may not have a lot of cruelty free becky knowledge in your head but that's fine we forgive you um my favorite a uh, way of taking my makeup off is a cleansing oil. It's such an effective way to get everything off your face. It takes a while to get used to as a makeup removing method um, and it's not for everyone, you know, it is a bit mucky, it feels a little bit weird. So yeah, I really like using an oil to remove my makeup and my favourite oil to use is just straight up 100% pure jojoba oil. It leaves my skin really soft, it takes my makeup off really well. But I thought, I've used it for about over a year. Yeah, quite a while, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different, and this was a very similar price point, so this was about £16, and usually the jojoba oil I get from Holland & Barrett is £13.99, so a similar price range. The main ingredient is jojoba oil, but it also has a load of other nourishing oils, and I love Mugu as a brand, they're a really lovely cruelty-free brand with lots of vegan options. Another product I'm excited to use is this, and this is by Tropic. They sent me this to see if I like it, and I've tr I like everything I've tried from Tropic so far, so I I'm sure I will like this. It's their Body Smooth Refreshing Polish, so it's basically a body scrub. Great timing as well, because I'm nearly out of my Superdrug Salt and Oil Scrub, which I mentioned in my last favourites video. It actually smells a lot like the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime deodorant. It's that really, really fresh, zesty smell, and it comes in a lovely little tub very excited to get some use out of i love exfoliating at the moment talking of exfoliating i also got some exfoliating mitts i think these are really really handy to have these are from superdrug they're from their spa range i like the superdrug spa ones just because they're a little bit thicker and they feel a little bit more well made i don't know if you can see they're kind of almost knitted but they're not and if you haven't used these before they're just kind of like rough gloves that you can put on and then when you're in the shower or if you're in <laughs> like cat in the hat now with the jumper and the gloves but when you're in the shower you can just wash yourself, scrub your legs and it acts as an exfoliator. So if you don't want to have separate things in your shower, you know, an exfoliating scrub and a shampoo and a shower gel, you could just use a shampoo to wash your hair and your body and use this to kind of get that exfoliating action going on. I'm doing this in such a strange order but I thought I'd mention another makeup product. This is the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Palette and I have lusted over this for so long. But I had the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, so I thought I don't need both. Realistically, I know one of them, they're both vegan, this one's natural, Charlotte Tilbury is not really a natural formula. I couldn't justify getting this when I already had the Charlotte Tilbury one. But my Charlotte Tilbury palette, how many times can I say Charlotte Tilbury? My Film Star Bronze and Glow palette is falling to pieces and I really do need another one. I've still got quite a lot of the highlight left, but the contour is all mashed up. I'll compare the two of them side by side in the full face of non-toxic and vegan makeup if you're interested in that like I say I'll link it somewhere but this is really nice I haven't tried it on the face yet so you know it might not be really nice but in terms of swatching it it's lovely I love the packaging it comes in such a slim little packet um, it only comes in one shade which isn't great it isn't great I feel like green beauty is one step behind or quite a few steps behind mainstream makeup which is still quite a long way behind in terms of getting shades for everyone like this this contour shade is not going to work for deep to dark skin tones let's be real i'm not sure if the highlight would work to be honest uh, i mean it'd be quite a quite a highlighty highlight but that's the two of them swatched for me being really pale i think this is a winner i love the charlotte tilbury palette don't get me wrong but um yeah it's nice to have a little bit more of a natural option if i can find a natural dupe for it i'll be over the moon mainly because that film star bronze and glow palette is 50 pounds which is it, it's insane but yeah this has got lots of nice ingredients in and looks like an, a promising contour duo that one a couple more things i got from superdrug and this i got a month or so ago and i've tried it a few times it's basically a tooth whitening kit it's like a three-step system so you get a gum gum shield it's not really a gum shield is it it's not hockey a mouth guard i don't know what you call this what does one call this i don't know but yeah you get a tooth whitening gel the little gum guard thing and an accelerator and some whitening toothpaste and i didn't see a massive difference but like i say you have to use it for 14 days and i used it for about three and then i chickened out so i think i will try this again maybe before my graduation but i would prefer a natural whitening formula so i might try some hydrogen peroxide i also got a body spray this is the cocoon layering lab body spray and then a couple of super drug tools i picked up this studio brush i don't have many detailer brushes i've only i mean i've got quite a lot of makeup brushes but 
not many detailer brushes. Get a winged liner end and a smudger end and yeah I think this is going to be quite a handy little brush to have and then the other thing I got was this beauty sponge um, and I've been using it to take my makeup off you know with my second cleanse just to exfoliate my face very gently and it's been working really well. And then I think that's everything, oh no one more thing, I picked up another Nanshi <laughs> sponge, um, I'm rushing through to get to the thing I really want to talk about, um, I picked up another Nanshi sponge from TK Maxx, the one that I've got at the moment is still absolutely fine, it will last me for a you know maybe for the rest of the year but it's nice to have a backup one and if you want to pick these up in the UK in store you can get them at TK Maxx they're my favorite sponge ever they're the four-in-one miracle miracle sponge or miracle complexion sponge I'll put the full name down below because these are the best of the best they're really affordable and they're so much better than the beauty blender 20 pounds or whatever it is for a beauty blender is a complete joke back in the day fair enough but now there are so many dupes it's just not worth it in my opinion so that's that and then onto the creme de la creme of this video which I've really wanted to talk about for the whole thing these lipsticks I was very very kindly sent these to review and like I say these are the products that I wanted to put I've been waiting for to put in my first impressions non-toxic beauty video and these are sublime so the brand is Cupid and Psych Beauty she absolutely spoiled me she said she was going to send me a couple to test out and she I think she sent me all of them is I was so intrigued by this brand because she's a fashion photographer which is very interesting in itself and they're designed with that in mind with a photography shoot in mind so kind of when makeup artists are styling for editorials and that kind of thing and they're all vegan all cruelty free all natural as well they're handmade and made in small batches um, I'll show you a few in a minute I, I honestly think that the thought that has gone into her range and the expertise and the knowledge and the fact that I, I just love it all I love it all and also a percentage of profits go to save the bees very important because obviously these are free from beeswax so going to save the bees and also they're made with lots of nourishing ingredients I thought maybe I could just swatch a few now I'm not sure if that's if I'm gonna have time in this video but maybe I'll put some on this is called Bridget and that's what it looks like from the outside they're gluten free as well, I don't know if I mentioned that, but they come in this cardboard package and then a cardboard tube, which is I really quite enjoy. Because you never really think about how makeup packaging isn't biodegradable, a lot of it comes in plastic, that just doesn't biodegrade. So think about all of the makeup, mainstream drugstore makeup, or even green beauty makeup, a lot of it comes in plastic. So yeah, I'm really happy that she thought to put it in a cardboard tube. And that's called Bridget, that one I just swatched. Very pretty, sort of blue toned, ready shade. I'm going to take and put one on my lips. These feel really nice on the lips. Very very balmy and I see what she means by buildable colour like it's it is very buildable you can go at you can build it up I think that's what buildable means maybe I don't know just a wild stab in the dark I don't think this quite goes with the eye look just because it's quite dark almost vampy lip and quite a dark eye so I might put a different colour on quickly before I let you go I mean you can leave whenever you want I'm just gonna be here putting on makeup I'm gonna mix in a purple shade this is the shade Ioni oh these are so nice I'm really happy with these I'm, I'm so happy the formula's good um feels really comfortable feels like a lip balm like a really nourishing lip balm it's got a lot of good natural oils in there and if you do want to hear more about that brand I'll leave their information down below thank you again so much for sending those out to me I appreciate it greatly and yeah that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you in this video feel like I've been talking for quite a while so I'm really sorry if I bored you. I did ask on Instagram if you wanted to see a, a haul and you said yes so um, sorry if that was boring but you, I mean you asked for it so you brought it on yourself really and if you want to have the chance to object to these kind of hauls from now on then make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can vote against me in my polls. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> but I know who you are, I know who votes no so sleep with one eye open. No, I'm kidding. It's fine, I don't get. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up now because I'm really starting to lose my flow. But I really hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a lovely day. And hopefully I shall catch you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>